Beneath this clear skyline, we encounter the spectacular spread of rocks. This vast expanse of rocks remains the embodiment of God's creativity. Within the hemming of these rocks, the ancient man of the Stone Age era made their abode here in Badami. The Badami rocks tell us the story of the past. Here, in this tank, Rishi Agastya took his bath. And today, this is the Agastya Tiritha. Basavanna, the social reformer of the 12th century, with reference to this space of God's own land and sky, says, Jagadagala Mugilagala. Ptolemy, the Greek geographer, in 150 AD, mapped this land and referred to it as Padomoi, though the place was originally known as Watapi, within the dynamics of the mythological lore. In the 6th century AD, Pulikeshi I chose this rock splendor as his capital because he wanted to use the natural rock spread as his fort itself. Thus, era after era, Badami rocks enthused humankind. We arrived at Thiruvananthapuram, Kerala's capital city, during the harvest festival of Onam. There was an air of festivity all around. Bright lights lit up the streets and musicians played traditional instruments. Here we chanced upon our very first demonstration of the Urme. The mesmerizing performances of the Urme gave us a glimpse of how dangerous this weapon can be, both to the opponent and to the user. Twirling the double-edged flexible sword produces a terrifying whirling sound as it slices through the air 
at great speed. The slightest error causes the sharp blade to recoil at the user, sometimes causing grievous injury.